And hi, it's Barry again with another little cool little song for you guys. And so we are heading towards the festive season and I thought it well to get you guys ready with a repertoire that suits this whole uh, Christmas lighty thing. And so uh, we're going to look at three things for this song. It's a great song by Shaken Stevens, Merry Christmas everyone. And you would need to know what the chords are. Number two, what's happening in the song structure because that will help you immensely. And then number three, what kind of strumming pattern can you use for this song? And although I'm not a fan of a strumming pattern, there's usually things you could do to make this sound pretty cool. Okay, diving right into it, uh, we have a G chord. And so a G chord, uh, this is assumed that you kind of know these chords already. If not, find them on the web interweb uh, 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 a chord chart. The D, it's uh, the trickiest one of the lot from, from the song, a G. And now remember, you can find that G chord as many times as you like, or just squeeze uh, like you would squeeze a button, but really what whatever it takes for you to memorize that little chord. Now, the best way is if you do it 10 times, that'd be okay. 30 times would be even better, but if you do it 100 plus times, uh, you'd probably be one of my better students. So get right into it. We've got the G, and then from the G, we go to an E minor, and so I've, I've, I've used instead with my students in general, I've used instead just an E minor seven. So instead of, you know, go and find the other E minor, which is sometimes tricky for you guys to find, I've just done G to an E minor. And you strum all the strong. G, E minor, snow is falling all around me. And then we've got a C, which is a nice easy change. And then back to a G. Cool. And then the last little chord is Merry, Cri Merry Christmas, everyone. So now D is really tricky, especially if you have a little chord, or a small ukulele like myself. It's trying to fit all three of your fingers in there is quite tricky, or you even do it. All. Now, what I've done is find a, an, an alternative D for you is where from that G, you just take finger two up one string where all two fingers, all those two fingers, one and two, are both in fret two, and you just play all the strings. That being said, those are the chords. Please take time, pause the video, and find them uh, as many times as you can to help you memorize and jump between those chords. Uh, song structure, if we look at the song structure, we have G, E minor C in one bar. It, unless stated otherwise, you would assume that E minor is for two beats, one, two, and then C for two beats, three, four. So again, E minor, one, two, three, one, two, C, three, four. And then G, children playing, having fun. So where that C is, I've made that C closer to the next chord because that changes on beat number four. So one, two, three, having fun. So again, children, one, two, three, having fun, having fun. And then we've got G, E minor, C, the same as the previous uh, on the top. And then we've got G, D, instead of the G, C, G, we've got G, D. So Merry Christmas, everyone. Again, that D on the fourth beat of the bar. Merry Christmas, everyone. One, two, three, four, and one. Okay, so let's dive right in. Strumming pattern, uh, it, you could just do straight down strums. One, both the song is in a 4-4, four, four, meaning the time sequence is you count four beats to the bar. One, two, three, four. You could just strum all down. One, snow is one, two, three, four, around me, two, three, four. So all down strums, or you could do eight notes. One and two and three and snow is falling. Sixteenth note, 
snow is falling all around me. Children, one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a. So whatever you would like to do and feel comfortable, that's how you manage yourself doing these uh, this little song. So we can dive right in. So I'm going to go slow and I'm just going to count us through and I'll call out the chords. So find me a best G chord and think about the E minor coming up. So G to the E minor. And one, two, three. Snow is G, two, three, all a E minor, two is C, children G, two, three, four for the C and fun, two right at the top again. Snow is G, all a E minor and C, children G. top again. Snow is G, all a E minor and C, children playing, C to G, it is the G, and love and under E minor and C. And the G, two, three, and the E minor coming. One, two, and C, four, and G, two, and D, four. So relax. So the chorus, looking at the chorus, uh, we've got G there a few times, and all that's happening is that first line, we've got E minor C, assumes that E minor on beat one and D on beat three. The next part is party tonight, it's G on beat one for two beats and then D on beat three. Uh, I'm gonna find that girl, I'm gonna find that girl underneath the first. Uh, I'm gonna find, so E minor that C, C underneath the mistletoe will kiss, kiss my candlelight. Snow is falling. So let's do that together. Just the chorus. Pause the video if you need to. One, two, three, four. E minor, we gonna. Ah, forgive me. Let's go again. One, two, three, four. And we gonna C, C, G, G to B. I'm gonna C. through the chorus once more then we'll loop right around to the verse as well so one two three four and we're gonna have a G to a D E minor do the find that girl underneath the mistletoe we'll kiss by candlelight the snow is falling now an E, ma, e minor and C, children G. Now C to G, and it's the season to have love and E minor C. Mary G to three, D to G. Now to the E minor, three, four, E minor. We're gonna see a G to D, E minor. I'm gonna see that girl underneath the mistletoe. We'll kiss by candlelight, the snow is one. 
Love and understanding. Merry Christmas, everyone. Bravo to the chorus. We gonna have a party tonight. I'm gonna find that girl underneath the mistletoe. We'll kiss by candlelight. Snow is falling. Hey, well done for sticking with the song. Remember at any point if you need to do the chords or try and memorize them or change them. Doing that many times makes it more likely for you to remember it and makes it easier for you to play at the end. Pause the video, go through the song, play it. If you have any questions, please post them below and I look forward to seeing how you get on with this little song. Well done, Shaken Stevens. Merry Christmas, everyone. Bye-bye.